Milton, we need you. I thought the bell didn't work. Can you open the door for me? It was open. Why did you ring? I thought I should use the doorbell so I wouldn't startle you. When I came in, I pressed the doorbell and it didn't work. Well, in light of the facts, I deduced that it was your finger that wasn't working. <laughs> so, what can you tell me to restore my faith in you as a detective? What is that? Not a good start. It's a camera, so Alphonse can see all this. All right, follow me. Bash in the door! Baccarini had come, but it was on the same side of the law. He served those Filled dishes. In. He opened a bottle of whiskey in the dining room. That was when the murderer burst in on them, coming through the window which he broke with his own body weight. Baccarini, or maybe his guest, pulled a gun, but it was a waste of time. The murderer was so fast, he was disarmed before he could fire. He focused his attention on Baccarini, totally ignoring the guest, and lifted him up into the air. He then Ooh. threw him against the dining room table so hard that one of the glasses of whiskey was embedded in Baccarini's back. He spun <laughs> around, clawing at the table, and immediately afterwards the murderer ripped off his hands. I have no idea how he did it, but all the evidence suggests he just pulled. Blood sprayed everywhere. The wristwatch fell to the ground. He dragged him through the corridor wow. into the hall. He tore down the lamp, hung him from the brackets, and stabbed steel rods through his body. Holy shit! He skewered him on the iron bars. And if you look at, taken from the fence outside and pulled look out at his teeth one by one. If you look at him. He's like. Finally, he scooped out his eyes with a teaspoon. He must have been. Baccarini must have been dead when the murderer went to the bathroom with his hands and his teeth. There, he arranged them to make an altar, weaving the fingers together and placing the teeth inside. Next, he painted something on the wall in blood, a symbol which I don't recognize, but which Ooh. could have some kind of ritualistic significance. When he'd finished his artwork, he left. I don't know what he did with the eyes. He took him? You're telling me that someone did all this on with a teaspoon? More or less. And you worked all this out on your own, some just by looking, more or less. I don't know which of the two of you scares me more. <laughs> Wait a second. What about the guest? Right. Come with me. Again? <laughs> we have to come again with you. Bash in the door. Turns out Mr. Untouchable isn't infallible, but you were close. Congratulations. This must be Baccarini's office. Let's take a quick look around. All yours. But that's interesting though, so he escaped through the room as well. Why'd you go to jail? For murder, but... You didn't do it, of course. Of course I didn't. But I didn't intend to. <laughs> read, what are you reading? Scene, and you sit down to read? Titus Andronicus. Ah. One of the actors on the Hindenburg lent it to me. They're performing it soon. You couldn't ask for more appropriate reading material. Murder, mutilation, <laughs> torture. <laughs> Shakespeare's got it all. Oh. We've lost the only lead we had to help us find Sophia Capone. You think Baccarini's murder could be related? Yes. Maybe. It's hard to say. Oh, it's definitely related in some way. Suitcase. Who or what? And in it, money. Jesus. There's at least a million dollars here. Money time. Mm -hmm. Baccarini's? I'd be surprised. 
Probably his guests, and I doubt it was to pay Baccarini for his services. None of his forgeries are worth that much. Mm. Well, depend on what he was making. Carlo, I have the goods for OB, but I have to take the children to school tomorrow and I can't make the meetup. Friday, same time, same place. It's signed and I. Mm-hmm. These initials are getting to be a pain in the ass, right? <laughs> I have to take the kids to school tomorrow. I don't think this is some loving divorced daddy, Milton. Ah, I take back what I just said. Hmm. The driver's license of one John Martinson and Osmond Burke. OB. Hmm. Do we know him? The eldest son of the richest family in Vermont, convicted rapist. He was arrested thanks to the testimony of his father, who wound up disinheriting Wow. Him. He escaped from prison last week. He broke into the family home and slit the throats of all his relatives one by one, opened the safe, and got away with a fortune. Uh, they don't make jails like they used to. <laughs> <laughs> I love this character. All starting to add up, isn't it? More? Really? Even more? I love how he's like in bandages though. The guy who killed Baccarini? Guy who's a monster! I'll get their heads off me, Negro! What was he like? Ooh. Describe him for me. He was a monster. Red and black. I mean, his head reached the ceiling. He, he tore off his hands with his claws! It was a monster! A monster! Should I hit him again? No, 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 no. Burke, no. shut up! You're Osmond Burke, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Good. Now pay attention, Burke, because I have a question for you. Documents. Who is John Martinson? I, I, I am, I am. Ah, uh, Baccarini created a new identity for you. And I'll bet that under those bandages, there's a new face, fresh from surgery. <laughs> Who wrote Notes. this note? Uh, Nikolai Ivankov. Rings a bell. One of Capone's right-hand men 20 years ago. What does this stuff about kids mean? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Calm down, Burke. You were going to meet up with him, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, at the docks. Uh, at birth 42. Right, right next to where... Um, alligator where the, 3. Uh, allig alligator 3 is moored. So what's the meet-up time? Uh, t tomorrow. Tomorrow. At, uh, uh, tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow noon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, it's going to be tonight. Interesting. Don't get too comfortable. We'll be there in no time. The cops in Santa Esperanza aren't as straight as the cops in Vermont. Even so, I think they'll be delighted to see you at the station. I'm afraid not, Mr. Ness. I have to take him to Alphonse. Out of the question. I know his temper. He'll beat him to a pulp. Listen, if the missing girl was your granddaughter, hmm. you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't let you see the only suspect who could lead us to her. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
And we have a car. Shucks. Yeah. What? I thought that bloodbath would cover up the smell of stale grease. <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> the st <laughs> wow. That character is so good. They wrote that so good. <laughs> Holy hell. So well done. So well done. Oh? Elliot? Ah, Delphine. Oh, thank God you're here. The lights were off, so I thought that... Uh, I'm sorry. I got out of the hospital late, then I went to the station to pick up Jim's check, and when they told me... I'm scared. Of You're scared? What? what are you drinking? It's only juice. Juice and nothing else. Breathe on me. <sighs> you heard me. <sighs> I'm sorry. It, it hasn't been a good day. What's happened? No! You knew! Knew about what? What's that gun doing there? Sometimes I go out into the countryside and shoot up bottles. If the cola company ever finds out, I... You're such an idiot. Seriously, you don't know? No, I don't know. And if you keep up the guessing games, I'll never know. <laughs> He's back. Who? Him. Him? I don't know why it still surprises me, but it's incredible that you were such a good detective, and yet you've never been able to understand people. Capone got out of jail. Where do you hear that? Chief Jenkins. Chief Jenkins? The same guy who said he was going to clean up Santa Esperanza, right? Mm -hmm. In that case, you can rest assured Capone just put on his striped pajamas and in four minutes time he'll be snoring in his cell. Elliot, what if it's true? If he's out, what's the first thing he's going to do? Who does he hate more than anyone? <laughs> old age. He spent almost 20 years in jail. Capone's an old man. If he gets out, at most he's going to challenge me to a race to the nearest park bench. Please, Elliot, don't joke. You're the only part of Jim's life that I have left. If you put yourself in danger, I... Me. Please, no. Burnted cooking. Fried eggs are the devil's work. <laughs> What's going on, Elliot? We're closed. Can you wait outside for a couple of minutes, Milton? Sure, of course. Uh, although, I'm sorry to say, but we're short on time. Elliot. Um. I said a couple of minutes, Milton. It's all right. Goodbye, Elliot. You can use that couple of minutes to teach this gentleman some manners. No, <laughs> it's none of your business. <laughs> Sorry to butt in. I've brought your rapist costume for the party. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Seriously, you're not... No, she's the wife of a friend who died in the line of duty, Jim Dockers. Mm. Alphonse told me about him. Your Alphonse killed him. Yeah, I'm sorry, Mr. Ness. Although he's not the same man he was. Anyway, oh, I love isn't that. How are you? marriage until death do us part? It's not that simple. There are other factors. Delphine and I have been friends a long time, and I don't have many friends. I can't risk losing her. Right. So you like her, but you don't have the nerve. Oh yeah? What would you do? Women have never been one of my priorities. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forget it. He's gay? <laughs> you screwed Alphonse good, didn't you? 
I don't think he holds it against me this far down the line. He's a new man now, right? Did you enjoy it? Hmm. I'm a cop. Correction, I was a cop. You do the job you're given. End of story. I hear you. But you didn't finish the next job they gave you. Did they find those kids? No. How do I look? Like the invisible man in the movie. <laughs> no one's gonna buy it. Take it easy. <laughs> Everything's going to work out fine. <laughs> he looks so silly. 